Hey Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to the channel where we bring you the latest and greatest from your Kansas City Chiefs. Before we jump into today's updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video to stay up to date with everything Chiefs. Now, let's dive into the news. First up, let's talk about Isaiah Pacheco. Head coach Andy Reid recently shared some promising news about Pacheco's recovery. As you know, he's been on injured reserve since week three after undergoing surgery. We're now at the six-week mark, and while Coach Reid hasn't set a return date, he did say that Pacheco is making great strides in his recovery. This is fantastic news for our offense, which could really use his powerhouse presence as we push towards another Super Bowl run. Moving on, we have some concerns on the injury front. Rookie tight end Jared W.Y. was listed as a limited participant in practice due to a new, undisclosed injury. This adds to our depth issues at tight end, especially after Jody Fortson's season-ending injury. Defensive end Mike Dana and wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster are also on the injury report. Their statuses will be crucial as we prepare to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. On the flip side, the Bucs are dealing with their own injury woes, with key players like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin sidelined. This could give our defense a significant edge. Fortunately, Patrick Mahomes is fit and ready to lead us into battle. Speaking of offense, DeAndre Hopkins is already making waves after joining the Chiefs. He had a couple of key catches against the Raiders, and offensive coordinator Matt Nagy praised his quick adaptation to the playbook. Hopkins' leadership and experience are already boosting team morale, and with Tampa Bay ranked 29th in pass defense, this is a great opportunity for him to shine. Finally, let's talk defense. With our secondary slightly thin due to injuries, the Chiefs are rumored to be exploring trade options for a veteran cornerback. Names like Marcus Peters and Steve Nelson have been floated, and acquiring someone like Tredavious White could solidify our already strong defense as we aim to remain undefeated. So, Chiefs fans, we want to hear from you. How excited are you about Pacheco's recovery? What do you think of Hopkins' potential against the Buccaneers? And should we bring in a veteran cornerback? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on our journey to another Super Bowl. Go Chiefs!